Hello folks, we are back at the Realistic TRC 457. Um, so when we la last left off, we last left off right here um, on the PLL stop transistor, which is D29, I believe it is. But this source, I suppose they have like 8.3 volts, roughly, or 8 volts. And as you can see, it's 0 0.7 volts. So uh, that's no good. So um, I'm just going through the circuitry here. And uh, I'm going to look at these two here. These two transistors, we're going to follow them back into the circuit. This one here ends up down here by the, what is the uh, relay and the other wiring for this one. Or this one ends up over here. So, <clears throat> we're going to check a Zener diode, which is down there somewhere. D24. Let's see if we can't uh, make them so you can see them. The inner diode D24 and uh, D24 is to where are you to? Where am I to here? D24, yes, up here, and then we've got uh, another capacitor, electrolytic C99, and then we got C98 and resistor R111. So all of those critters are down here. Uh, as you can see, we have C99 right here. C98 should be one of these, maybe? No. Yeah, C98, C99 should be around here somewhere. Somewheres in here. Yeah, we'll find them in a minute. So, anyways, you got C99 right here, D24 in here, and then you've got the R112 right here. So, we're going to check this here. These couple capacitors here by Reddit, and uh, see what uh, see what we can find here. Um, chances are what's going on with the radio is Zener diode related because as I said earlier Zener diodes do a lot of the voltage regulation in this radio and either the Zener could be bad or the capacitor could be bad or both could be bad so anyways we're going to start around uh, tier 24 SD 325 which is this one here and he goes down to here, so that's our next next plan of attack. Anyways, let's see what we can do with this. So this is where we are. The uh, traces, everything marked here in green, is everything that I've gone through today. And all of these seem to be fine, except for. Uh, the uh, PLL stop, which is 0 0.7. Um, I'm still trying to figure out why the voltage has dropped there. I'm um, assuming it's because the PLL is not running. Um, the LED display, which is for channel display, is controlled by this R17, controlled to brightness. Transistor R37 is right directly behind it. Is an LED driver, and the transistor right here. The two uh, this uh, SD325 is also the LED driver. So it gets voltage in, which are 13 volts. So it takes the voltage from here and here, which is supposed to drive your LED display. Not doing it. Um, so. Everything here seems to be fine. Now, 
radio is supposed to give me 13.7 volts. That's direct from the power supply. So let's get 13.7. So I think we're also down to a power supply issue. Uh, I read a line that mostly has got to do with the filter cap. A lot of the time, it's this filter cap right here, or filter caps. Gets bad. So I'm going to swap those out. But, uh, yep, that's where we are. So we tested all this. Except for the transmit side here. But everything on the receive side seems to be fine, except for the PA little stop. So now we're going to go into the power supply. And see where we're sitting here with voltage. Should be around 13 volts, 13.5 at least. Anyways, I guess we'll uh, get there and see where it goes from from there. Because as it sits at the moment, uh, I'm not finding anything wrong with the main board as such. Not yet. So now we're into this. So we shall see what's going on. Anyways, stay tuned. We'll get to the bottom of this 457 one way or the other. Right, so a little bit of discoloration on the trace right here. It's not bad, but there is a little bit there. So, over here is our on and off switch. So we'll check our voltage here. We have 12.5. This voltage, orange wires voltage in, which is 12.5. So, let's turn the radio off, see the voltage stays there. So 12.6. So, power supply looks like it's a bit, uh, I don't know if 12.5 is normal. You do have a uh, voltage adjustment here. I might rise that a little bit just to see. But according to this right there, it should be 13.7. So that means I'm missing a volt, one volt on the power supply. First thing I do, I'm going to adjust the power supply up to uh, one volt up to 13. Let's see what just adjust the. Uh, we this variable resistor here. Put your probe on this side of our 302. And just a variable. And right now we have 13.7. 13.74. And the schematic calls for 13.77. So, power supply is fine. So we're good. So right at the power supply circuit. So right now we're still into the LED driver circuit, which is down this end. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Right, so as you can see, we've got the display back. I had to adjust the uh, VR17 here to, uh, to get that back. So we know this is working. So we know. The driver transistor back here is good. We know this SD325 is good. We know this 325 is good. Um, basically, everything in the power supply circuit here is checking out. I rose the voltage from the power supply up to 13.7. Um, according to what the schematic tells me it should be. So we got that now feeding the main board. Um, so technically there's nothing on the main board itself should be causing this so right now now we're down I'm possibly possibly down to a PLL issue here ECO could be out of whack so let's uh, get the frequency counter out and see what's going on here let's see if the uh, 10 to 40, which is right here. Let's see if he's actually oscillating. So here we go. DSC 457. 
So I guess what we'll do, I'll upload this much. And uh, the next video now, we'll get into the PLL. And check the voltages and the frequency there. And see what's going on there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. It's running at 63.